Hello everybody, in this video I want to show you how to utilize the virtual inputs in Wheelands command software to program cycling flash patterns and cycling siren tones. At first we need a button that is completely free, so there should be nothing programmed on this button. What we're going to do first is we check the switch type make sure that it's set on press on, press off and then jump into the inputs right here um, select the first virtual input and go to next state so what this button does is that it's just activating your first virtual input and next we click on virtual inputs in the top then select the first one and click on light bar so I've already programmed all my flash patterns and um, you can program your first flash pattern right now. In this case, I selected Comet Flash 75 in two different phases. And after you've done the programming of your first flash pattern, you need to select Properties. Make sure that you set this to Variable Timer. And select the duration of the first flash pattern. In this case, I chose 5 seconds. And after these 5 seconds, the first flash pattern will turn off. So now it's important to select the off state of the first virtual input. Click on inputs right here. Select the second virtual input and set it to go to next state. Now let me explain what we just did. So we've programmed the first flash pattern, which will be activated for 5 seconds. And after that, it will automatically turn off and activate the second virtual input. So now we click on virtual input number 2 and click on light bar, program your second flash pattern, click on properties, select variable timer and set the duration, then switch to the off state, click on inputs, select the third virtual input and set it to go to next state. You can repeat this over and over again. As soon as you've programmed all the flash patterns, you just need to set the last action to go back to virtual input number one. This will close the circle and you have your cycling flash patterns. As soon as I've programmed the virtual inputs, I return to the on off button. Then I select the off state and turn off all the virtual inputs I've programmed. Creating cycling siren tones works the same way. The only difference is that you need to choose the siren tone instead of the flash pattern. If you want, you can also synchronize cycling flash patterns with cycling siren tones. 